coming to the tit part the tit has three portion the upper portion is known as crown the lower portion is known as middle portion is known as neck and the lower portion is known as root so upper portion is what crown middle portion neck the lower portion is root the crown is formed by mainly this one enamel second one is the dentine odontoblast this is the nerve so this structure is not present in the ncrt book but you must know it because for your knowledge for your understanding point of view it is important so what is this crown part crown part is formed by enamel the neck part is formed by dentine the root part is formed by the odontoplast over here a ligament is also present which is known as periodontal ligament and this one is the nerve so the hardest substance which is present in our human body is what enamel enamel is what hardest substance present in our body secreted from where secreted from ameloblast ameloblast cells so very much important for your exam point of view hardest substance present in our body secreted from where ameloblast cells so this is what crown neck and roots enamel is the hardest substance present in our body secreted from the ameloblast cell so this is the basic information of the teeth now coming to the type of teeth which is present in our body or in the mammal number 1 incisor number 2 canine number 3 premolars number 4 molars so four types of teeth present in the our body which is number 1 incisors number 2 canine number 3 premolars and number 4 is the molars so there is a particular formula regarding the human teeth which is known as dental formula dental formula nothing but 2 1 Two one two three by two one two three. So what is two one two three? See, our teeth. If there is, we know there is thirty two teeth in our mouth. So thirty two teeth. Upper sixteen. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So this one, that is the eight, 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 and eight. So we can divide it into four compartments: eight, 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 eight. That means over here eight, the knee, the lower same eight. Over here, eight and the same eight. So, two plus one, three. Three plus 
टू फाइव फाइव प्लस थ्री एट एट एंड एट दैट मीन्स इट रिप्रेजेंट्स वॉट ओवर हेयर इट रिप्रेजेंट्स वॉट दिस पार्ट दैट इज दिस पार्ट इज वॉट कंजिस्ट ऑफ टू वन टू थ्री वॉट इज टू टू हेयर इन साइजेस वन इज वॉट कैनाइन टू इज अगेन प्रीमोलर्स And three is what molars. Same incisors, canine, premolar, molars. So two represents incisors, one represents canine, number two represents uh, premolar, number three represents molars. So This is what our teeth looked like. So two one two three divided by uh, by two one two three. It is the dental formula in the human being. So if someone asks in the NEET question that how many molars are present, you should know that three plus three six six over here and six over here. That means twelve molars are present. If how many if asked how many incisors are present, so you should know. Two over here, two over here. Two plus two, four. Four and four, eight. So eight incisors, eight molars, and eight premolars are present. So this is the way how you should know that dental formula and how you should calculate the number of teeth present in our body. But there is a difference between what? There is a difference between dental formula of adult. This is a dental formula of adult, and this is a dental formula of child. we all know that we have two sets of teeth number one is the uh, milk teeth or the childish teeth or the number two is the adult teeth child this is also known as milk teeth they have the formula 2102 by 2102 means they have two incisors one canine but their absence of any premolars and there is also one molar less than that of the adult that means 2102 2102 having same number of incisors same number of canine but the premolars are absent and there is one less than that of the actual molar that means only two molars are present so this is very much important and this one is very much important for your exam because you can see from previous question questions have been asked from this and this point of view that is which teeth are absent in the milk teeth or child teeth that is the you should know that is premolars are absent in case of the milk teeth it is this representation this representation of teeth is also known as dentine formula so you should note it down because this is also going to come this part is very much important this part is very much important this is for your understanding point of view and enamel is part is very much important this is the hardest substance in our body secreted from the ameloblast cells so one more point you should write it down over here that is the dentine part it is secreted from where from the odontoblast cells what is odontoblast secreted from the odontoblast cells it is what mesodermal in origin we know that we have triploblastic form of cells that means we have three body layers that is ectoderm mesoderm endoderm so dentine is what secreted from the odo odontoblast cells and it is what mesodermal in origin coming to the next part that is human teeth there are some features regarding the human teeth which we should know what are the features it is what Number one is the diphyodont. These words are very much important. The trick is over here is don't die. Dont is always related with what teeth. Die means what two. So what? We have two sets of teeth in our life. Two sets of teeth in our. 
life. One is the milk teeth and second was the adult teeth. The second point is what? Heterodont. Again, the key point is what? Heterodont. Don't means teeth. Hetero means different. We have different sets of teeth like incisor, canine, premolars and molars. There are different types of teeth. So hetero don't. So different types of teeth present. Number three is thecodont. What is theco? See, theco is, it is attached. It is attached to any socket. Attached to socket. That means our teeth is attached to, our teeth is like what? The, our teeth is like a ball and it is attached in a socket in our particular position. See, this is a teeth. It is attached in what? It is in a, attached in a socket type position. This is known as what? Theco. So attached to socket. The four part is Bunodont. What is buno? See, buno means they have cusp like structure. Our teeth is not like a uh, having pointed sharp or uh, pointed edges or sharp edges. Our teeth is not like having pointed sh or sharp edges. It is always having a cusp like structure like this. Like this cusp like structures are present. But in case of see in case of dog you can see there is a sharp or teeth like present or in case of carnivore animals you can see over there they having a sharp edges. This is what sharp edges but we don't have that sharp edges we have a cusp like structures present in the upper portion of the teeth which is known as the buno dunt. So presence of cusps like structure So, this four point is very much important from the exam point of view because these are the points which are written in the NCRT also and questions are being asked from there also, from this point also. So, number one is the diphyodon having two sets of teeth in our life. Number two is the heterodon that is the different types of teeth present. Number three is the thecodon attached to the socket. And number four is the bunodon having cusp like structure in the upper part of the teeth. So this four point is very much important from the exam point of view. You should note it down. Now, there are some few points we should know. Number one point is what? This has been asked in the neat long way ago. Number one is the rabbit teeth. That is, they don't have any incisors. They don't have any, sorry, any canines. See, a rabbit is what? A rabbit is a herbivorous animal. Canine is always required for what? For tearing, tearing purpose. So, in case of carnivores only, this tearing is required because they used to the carnivore use this canines to, for tearing of the fleshes. So, rabbits are the what herbivorous animals. They don't require any canines because they don't eat flesh. So, they there is absence of canines in the rabbit. So, a wide gap is present. A wide gap is present between incisor and premolar called diastema. This is diastema. So this is one you should know it that is they don't have any canines a wide gap is present between incisor and premolar which is known as diastema. Now coming to the pathological conditions that is disease related with it.
पैथोलॉजिकल कंडीशन नंबर वन इज हेलीटोसिस दैट इज बैड ब्रेथ बैड ब्रेथ समटाइम्स आवर माउथ समटाइम्स आवर टेथ हैव आवर माउथ देर इज अ बैड ब्रेथ विच कम्स आउट विच वेरी मच फाउल सो इट इज नोन एज वॉट हेलीटोसिस दिच इज बैड ब्रेथ नंबर टू इज pyria what is pyria infection of the gum what is gum the teeth is attached at outer membrane teeth is attached to a socket and the outer membrane of that it is known as gum so here infection of gum occurs which leads to gum bleeding and pus formation this infections is being caused by what infection is being caused by ant amoeba gingi valis this infection is caused by this microorganism which is known as entamoeba gingi valis what happens here infection of gum occurs it leads to gum bleeding that is uh, blood comes out from the gums and there is a formation of pus also so this two is very much important the number third is dental plaque formation of biofilm covering on the surface of teeth formation of biofilm covering on the teeth on teeth there is a formation of covering on the teeth which appears as yellowish this because of formation of this biofilm covering on the teeth the teeth appears as a yellow yellow type so this is nothing but dental plaque so these are the disease which is related with the teeth number 1 is the halitosis that is the bad breath number 2 is the pyria pyria is very much important you should know it what is pyria for exam also and for your general knowledge also and the for the third point point is the dental plaque that is formation of biofilm covering on the teeth this is all about your teeth so write it down and revise it this diastema part is very much important because it has been asked uh, long back ago that is which type of teeth is absent in the rabbit teeth so write it down